Welcome back, friends. You know, you were here a couple of weeks ago as I was putting this ghost up on my door. And now it's time to take down the Halloween decorations and put them away until next October. The seasons are changing. Halloween is behind us. Soon we'll be celebrating Thanksgiving. And after that, Christmas. Have you noticed any changes as the seasons turn? Over the past few weeks, the trees have changed from green to red or yellow or orange, and now they're starting to lose their leaves. Have any of you been raking up leaves in your yard, maybe jumping in a leaf pile? It's also getting colder, so now we need a jacket or a hat when we go outside. And just last week, we turned our clocks back one hour, so now it gets darker earlier in the day. There is a lot changing in our world. When seasons change, we know what to expect, like longer nights and colder days. But sometimes change can feel scary because we don't know what to expect. We don't know how our lives will be different. What are some of the changes you've had in your life? Some of you are old enough to have had new classrooms and new teachers. Some of you have even changed schools. Maybe you've moved to a new home or you've had a friend move away. This year has brought changes for all of us as we, ha as we have tried ways of learning and worshiping when we can't be together. Just the fact that I'm talking to you through a screen instead of on the steps in our sanctuary is different. Change is part of life, isn't it? But you know what? No matter what changes, there is something that always stays the same. And that is God's love for us. No matter what season it is, no matter what is going on in our lives, or in the world, God's love for us is constant. God's love for us never changes. Friends, let's have a prayer. And I hope you and those who are watching with you will join me in our echo prayer. Dear God, you were God yesterday. You are God today. You will be God tomorrow. Thank you for your love that never changes. Amen. Thanks for joining me. See you next week.